Welcome into our next game of the day. Another boys matchup here from the 2015 NCSAA National Championship Tournament. Uh, apparently, both teams decided to wear dark. So one's switching shirts right now. <laughs> Which wouldn't have worked out too well because one of them is dark blue, one of them is black. So that would not have uh, they look basically got the over same so color, well. huh? <laughs> I do have a feeling there's going to be a small problem with that, though. All right. There we go. And that being, I think. All right. Oh, boy. All those numbers are different. Oh, don't say that. There's nothing on that list that's even close to being right. Opening tap played ahead to Covenant Christian. The layup good by number 23, who I don't have. So... I better just start making the list here. Right. Here's a run down the middle of the lane, and we've got a whistle and a foul on Sami Hamadi. That will be his first, team first. Covenant Classical in the black uniforms right now. As to the free throw line goes Trevin Allen. It's Trevin Allen, Ike Ingle, and Jalen Carr, along with... Ian Prince, and Dawson Hardy. That's the starting five for Covenant Classical. Free throw, good. And a steal off the inbounds pass. Layup, no good. Rebound, back up, no from Engel. Now put back up and in underneath. Man, that's deflected out of bounds, and back it goes to Covenant Classical. I believe it should be 4-2 here. Actually, I think it should be 4 nothing. I think the scoreboard is uh, slightly wrong, but that's been kind of one of those things that's been ongoing here the last couple of games. Floater along the baseline is good by Trevin Allen. And again, full court pressure from Classical here. And here comes Covenant Christian on the run. Jumper on the wing. That's off the mark. Bangs off for Sam Rourke. Rebound comes down to Allen. Trevin Allen back the other way. Good pass underneath. Way up no good there from Hardy. Tip back out on the wing to Allen. Now three ball in the corner. That won't go from Jalon Carr. And back up it comes. In the front court now. Down the lane, the runner won't go. Again, we're working on Covenant Christian's numbers. They changed uniforms here, and uh, most of the numbers that are out there do not match anything that's on their official roster here. Missed shot and then fouled up with the layup again, and it's now a 5-4 lead for Covenant Classical. And go into the front court here. Man-to-man -man defense from Covenant Christian. All the way down the lane, layup good by Ike Engel. And it's a 7-4 lead for Classical. Work to play it in. Once again, full court pressure here. And it comes on the run, down the lane, layup good. Once again, apologize. We're still working on getting names for some of these numbers that don't match the official roster here. And a... 7-6 lead for Classical as into the lineup comes T.J. Aaronsman, the senior guard. Good hands on the radio. So Christian will play it in. 5.45 to go in the first 7-6. The lead for Classical here. In front it comes. Pass in the post was deflected. Chased down in the corner by Rort. Now back on the wing. 5.30 to go opening quarter, a one-point lead for Classical. Drive down the lane, good pass, and the layup's good there as well. An 8-7 lead now for Covenant Christian. Ingo across the timeline, far side for Hardy. Now a little game of catch out front, and the runner from Hardy is not good, but he is foul ahead of the free throw line. So it's the second foul on Covenant Christian. Yeah, 
And to the free throw line now is Dawson Hardy. First one rattles in and out. Hardy will have another one coming. So again, Hardy to the free throw line. Second one rattles around and out again. 8-7 the lead for Covenant Christian. Three ball on the wing. That bangs over the top of the backboard and out of bounds. And back it goes to Classical. 4.52 to go opening quarter. 8-7 Covenant Christian. Ingo into the front court, looking baseline, dumps it down there to Aaronsman. A little reverse layup is good. That's a pretty reverse from TJ Aaronsman. 9 8, classical now with the lead. And trap out front, and loose ball stolen away. Fast break again. Aaronsman on the break. His left handed layup is blocked, but followed up with a layup by Dawson Hardy. Good hustle from classical. They lead it 11 8. He comes. Rourke trying to dribble into the front court. Good pass goes right through the hands of the intended target. I think the scoreboard just completely went uh, off here. Back off on the wing. It goes now out front to Hardy. Looking middle of the floor to the free throw line for Carr. Gets inside. Forces that up. No. And we've got a whistle and a foul down low on Dawson Hardy. As Hardy picks up his first, team first. And Covenant Christian will play it in. So 4-12 to go in the opening quarter. They're trying to get the scoreboard figured out here. They're still working on that scoreboard. Yeah. You went to go check for Covenant Christian. They gave you Covenant Classical lineup. I have that one. Well, we're still working on the problem. <laughs> we went to find Covenant Christian's light up. We got a Covenant light up, but it was Covenant Classical, and I already have that full one. And apparently we have an issue with the scoreboard, so they're going to try to figure it out here. While they do that, we'll take a brief time out and see if we can get these uh, lineup changes figured out for you. So we'll have it all figured out when we come back here in just a moment. Out of the timeout for the scoreboard, Covenant Christian with it again. As we approach four minutes to go in the quarter, an 11-8 lead for Covenant Classical. 
Pass back in the near side. Hamadi, double team there, try to dump it out front. It's deflected away, and now Classico out on the run. The pass stolen back. So back up with it comes Christian. Hamadi for three. Good. Triple for Sami Hamadi. And it's tied at 11, 328 to go in the first quarter. And that pass sails out of bounds. There's a number three who's infield. I just put it in the three infield. As Christian will play it up. All right, we're going to get those changes on these numbers here shortly. Two forty-one to go in the quarter. Fifteen eleven is the lead for Covenant Christian. I want to apologize here. the The roster that we were given for Covenant Christian is about fifty percent wrong. <laughs> so we're working on it. Jaylon Carr and Hunter Sedegren in the lineup for Covenant Classical. And we'll continue to work on this a little bit till we get it figured out for you. And that pass not to the floor by Allen. It's loose far side. Runner along the baseline. That won't go. And now a jumper from the corner is good. Mike Rivers with the bucket there. So the junior gets his third bucket of the game. 17-11 is what the scoreboard says. I'm not still 100% sure that's correct. The layup underneath by Jalon Carr is good. And we're under two minutes to go in the quarter. So Enfield walks it up here for Covenant Christian. Enfield goes far side to Graffoni. That pass picked off. Now on the break, Jalon Carr into the front court. Down the lane. He'll lay it up in a little bit too strong. Enfield's pass ahead to Hamadi. That's Deflects off the backboard. That chucked back between the legs outside. Three ball for Amadi outside. That's off the mark. And now back up with it comes Sedegren. Down to 110 to go in the quarter. That pass kicked. And it will be Will be right. Covenant Christian basketball, I believe. Well, it's very confusing. We have Covenant Christian and and Covenant Classic playing each other, so they're both CCs. And then Covenant Classic didn't bring a no, no Covenant, no, Covenant Christian. Christian didn't bring a, a bookkeeper. And they didn't bring the regular unit, all the regular name numbered uniforms. So they changed a bunch of them. And some of the team aren't here, and some of them are. They brought different ones in the place of some of them. So it's a little bit of confusing. Well, we're trying to deal with it here, but uh, I think we mostly got it figured out. One minute to go in the first. We're tied at 15. Three ball on the baseline. That's partially blocked. And we got a whistle and a foul Four. down low. Foul is on Jalon Carr. That's his first. Team second on Covenant Classical. Tomorrow. And field into the front court. Gets a step. Try to go down the lane. Lost it there. Loose ball on the floor. We got a jump ball. And it will be possession Covenant Christian. So it'll be Covenant Classical basketball. All right, I guess I keep rebounds from here on. Sedegren up the left side to Probst. Underneath, good pass. Reverse layup won't go by Allen. Now back out with it comes Rivers. Mike Rivers on the run down the lane. Throws that up. No. 
deflected away, and up the near side comes T.J. Aaronsman. Aaronsman back out to Carr. Down the lane has that blocked, but whistle and a foul down low. So foul on Mike Rivers. He is first, team third. So to the free throw line for Covenant Classical goes Jalon Carr. Here with 17 seconds to go on our opening quarter. Free throw rattles in and out. Carr will have another one coming. So second free throw is called a lane violation. <laughs> they count that free throw or not? I have no idea what that if they counted that or waved it off. Oh. So Evan Prince checks in. They never explained what that was all about. I don't know if they count. Like they must have counted it, I guess. I guess. Boy, if this isn't a confusing mess, between the scoreboard being off about 75% of the time and uh, our difficulty with some rosters here, this is turning into an interesting first quarter. Three ball on the wing by Enfield's off the mark, and that'll do it for the first quarter. Well, at the end of one, it's a 16-15 lead for Covenant Classical. We'll take a break, come back with quarter number two, and hopefully a little bit of a cleaned up quarter number two here in just a Amen. moment. Sixteen fifteen is the lead for Covenant Classical here at the start of quarter number two. Christian with it first. Enfield working right side, trying to dump it down low. It's deflected out of bounds, and Covenant Christian to keep it. Hey, remember that time we did those two teams backwards for a whole game? And they had the same, same new uniform numbers. Same same numbers and same, same colors. Yeah, everything. And Underneath the layup good by Sam Rourke. Yeah. And it's 17-16, Covenant Christian. And they had the same initials on the uniforms. Underneath. Wow, that's a nice little move to the oh. hoop by Trevin Allen. Forced his way under. And now 18-17, the lead for Classical. 7.30 to go in the half. They left that little tight wire along the, along the baseline open, and he took right advantage of it. And Field goes off on the wing. This is Rivers pulling up for the baseline and scoring. Mike Rivers oh. with the bucket. 1918 hey, huh. coming to Christian. You, you remember that one father who thanked us for doing the game that way because he got to hear his son's name called a whole bunch and didn't usually ever get to play? <laughs> well, yeah, it was one of those weird coincidences. There's a traveling violation underneath on Peter Graffoni. Oh. And it will be Covenant Classicals basketball. Seven minutes to go in the half. 1918, the lead for Covenant Christian. Baseline jumper, no good there from Carr. Now tip back out near half court and stolen away by Rivers. Dumps it ahead to Graffoni, tried to get it back to Rivers and lost it. Here goes Amadi up the 
Down the lane, runner is no good by Carr. Back up comes Hamadi for three, good. So Sami with the bucket there. That's actually his second three of the game. 22-18, the lead for Covenant Christian. That shot up off the mark. Hamadi back the other way. Dumps it baseline. Rourke fires and scores from 10 feet. Ah, nice one. 24-18, the lead for Christian. Off it goes in the corner for Prince. His three is well short. And there comes coming to Christian down the lane and a layup good by Enfield. And all of a sudden, Coveted Christian's going on a little run. 26-18, they lead Covenant Classical. 5.50 to go in the half. We'll take a break. Back with more here in just a moment. Okay. Out of the timeout, Covenant Classical working offensively here. Runner in the lane is good by Ike Ingle. 26-20, the lead now for Covenant Christian. Baseline, Rivers, reverse layup is good. Boy, that's a nice move Ooh. to the hoop by Mike Rivers, and he finished with a soft right hand, too. Now, you notice a lot of the guys come in like that, driving so hard, will throw it hard against the backboard and lose it. He had a nice soft touch. Jumper misses there for Classical. Back the other way comes Enfield. Dumps it out. Rivers down the lane. Throws it up and scores. Boy, he does just a nice job of getting to the rim under control. 30-20, the lead for Covenant Christian. Five minutes to go in the half. Ingo down the lane. Off on the baseline. Now the pass oh. sails to the far court and out of bounds. So, it will be Covenant Christian basketball, 447 and going to half. As Trevin Allen and Jalen Carr check back into the lineup. So, Covenant's going to go man-to-man -man defense. Now front that tipped away. Carr with the steal. Jalon on the break down the lane, missed the layup, and the tip dunk is off the mark. And it will be Covenant Christian basketball. Well, interesting attempt at the tip dunk back, but yeah, it didn't get the ball. Not only that, but the rim's stuck in an up position. Uh-oh, it is. Down the lane, Enfield, no. You have a whistle and a foul down low. Can you get a referee's... Attention. Foul on Nick Dean. That will be his first team third. Free throws here by Enfield. First one is good. I have another one coming. Yeah, because that rim is definitely not in the right position. Second free throw is good. Enfield with a pair, 33-20. The lead now for Covenant Christian. Jumper on the wing. That's good. Triple, three ball for 
Shrevin Allen, that's his first three of the game. I think the rim is still off, honestly. Yeah. 30, 32-23, the lead for Covenant Classic, or Covenant Christian, excuse me. That three bangs off no good on the far side of the floor by Sam Rourke. And Covenant Classical will get it back. Three fifty-eight to go in the half, and now they, somebody finally pulled it back down to where it should be. So Ike Ingle into the front court, holds it in. Now we'll start up the offense here. Three fifty to go in the half. Thirty-two twenty-three, the lead for Covenant Christian. Covenant Classical is a little bit kind of uh, out of sorts here. Ingle finally, I think, has everybody directed where they need to be. Baseline runner, that won't go from Allen. Well, Rourke with his fourth rebound. Covenant Christian on the run. Hamadi down the lane, throws that up. No. Rebound underneath, still loose. And Enfield will bring it out and restart the offense. Enfield goes left side to Hamadi. Trying to get a step down the lane, throws it up. No. The rebound to Allen. Trevin Allen on the break down the lane all the way in. Nobody even tried to stop him. He missed the layup, though. And loose ball near side. It will stay Covenant Christian basketball. Hey, lights up. Lights up. Jaylon. Trevin, you're at half court. Trevin, half court. Evan, move back. The lights off. So now turn around jumper along the baseline won't go. Rebound tip back up. No. And Kevin at Classical comes out of there with it. Off to Ingle. Ike Ingle down the lane. This is at baseline. Little fade away. That won't go from Dean. Outlet feed. Comes up the court. And field out front. His right side, try to dump it underneath, oh, nice. and a layup good by Sam Rourke. Nice pass into Sam. Sam got about halfway up the lane and took a little, from the back to the bucket, took a little move to the right and got it, or left, I mean. 34-23, three ball off the mark by Allen. Ball kicks out of bounds. So into the lineup for Classical comes Sedegren, Aaronsman, and Probst. They all return. Also back in is Dawson Hardy. Okay. Set a grin looking baseline. Oh, nice pass inside. Oh, and the layup there by Dawson Hardy. Yeah, a little give and go there. Got it out to the wingman. He bounced it back going down the lane. He got him in layup. 44-25, Enfield down the lane, and had that deflected out of bounds, but we'll stay with Covenant Christian. And it comes for Rourke, fires that, left it short. Pick up with it now. Comes Sedegren, trying to go baseline. Now back out for side three. Ball is good. Triple is. for Dawson Hardy. His first three of the game. Oh, the senior put it in there and racked up those points. 34-28, Covenant Christian. 125 to go in the half. Enfield trying to work left side. On the front court. It's away, looking down low. Nice pass. Layup missed by Hamadi. And back the other way comes Hardy. Gives it up left side for Aaronsman. Down the lane, no. Tipped out of bounds. And it'll stay with Covenant Classical. Great job, TJ. Hmm. 34-28, the lead for Covenant Christian. 103 to go on the half. One side, three ball. That won't go for Aaronsman. And now back up with it comes Covenant Christian. Enfield walking it up into the front court here. 
Swings it left side. Hamadi. Yeah, back out front. The runner there is no good by Rourke. And now back to the way it comes. <laughs> Baseline runner. Oh. Yeah, we got a whistle on a foul down low. Yeah, to put that up behind the backboard. Well, the top almost made it. Fouls on Michael Gurgley. That'll be his second. Team fourth. Okay, and Ian Prince just checked in the lineup. Covenant Classical to play it in. 30 seconds to go in the half. 34-28 is the lead for Covenant Christian. That's baseline three ball. That won't go by Jalen Carr. We got a whistle and a foul on the rebound. Foul is on Peter Griffoni. That's his first. And team fifth. And we got a 30-second timeout to Covenant Christian with 24 seconds to go in the half. 34-28, Covenant Christian leads. Hmm. Now, what do you usually talk about when you have 30 seconds left and you call a timeout? What would be your options be going over here that was important enough to use a timeout with 30 seconds left? I'm not sure other than there might be just something specifically on the defensive end of the floor that he doesn't like seeing right now and just wanted to make a point of it here before the half was over because last couple of times uh, Covenant Classical has gotten a few opportunities so I don't think uh, Coach Gurgley's too happy with the way things have been going on the defensive end of the floor the last couple of times down but yeah hmm yeah I just wonder because he's got something specific in mind I would think. Otherwise, you just let the 30 seconds run out and save it for the second half. But I don't think like a coach thinks. So. so, Ian Prince to the free throw line here. All right. What is it? Score 34 28. It throws no good. Prince will have another one coming. And this one's good. One out of two down for to, Ian. Down to five-point game now. So. Yep, 34-29. Down to 15 seconds. And pass into the front court for Hamadi. And working right side. Try to get a step, and he stepped out of bounds. Yeah, I think his foot, when he reached back behind him and went down for the ball, his foot went on the out-of-bounds line and cost him the possession. And you got 10 seconds. So he can make a shot before the halftime. I mean, yeah, halftime would be in good shape. Probes into the front court here on the five seconds. Four, three, three ball on the wing. That's good. A triple for Evan Prince. And that will end the half. Wow. Well, a good run for Covenant Classical then the first half. They trail at 34-32 with the end of one. First half scoring totals. First of all, for Covenant Classical, three points for Jalen Carr. He's one of two from the free throw line. 11 points for Trevin Allen, including one three. He's two of two from the line. Ike Engel with six points. One for Ian Prince. He's one of two from the line. Two points for TJ Aaronsman. One three for Evan Prince. Seven points for Dawson Hardy, including a three. He's 0 for two from the line. Covenant Classical, three of nine from three-point range. For Covenant Christian, uh, Sami Hamadi with six points, including two three-point field goals. Sam Rourke with six points. Two for Michael Gurgley. Eight points for Mike Rivers. And uh, Enfield has four points as well, as well as two of two from the free throw line. Covenant Christian, two of six from three-point range. I'll pass off to you for our rebounding totals. All right. Uh, Covenant Classic. Well, first of all, we have Jason Carr with two. Trevin Allen has one. Ian Prince has one. TJ uh, Rinsman has one. Evan Prince has one. And Dawson Har Hardy has two for a total of eight rebounds for Classical, uh, classical for Christian uh, Covenant Christian. We have uh, Infield with two, uh, Hamadi with one, Sam Rourke with four, Michael Tomorrow with one for a total of eight. So the second quarter, they end out with exactly the same amount of rebounds, eight apiece. 34 32 is the lead for Covenant Christian at the end of the first half. Take a break, come back to the second half here in just a moment.
Start of the third quarter, 34-32 is the lead for Covenant Christian. Three up top won't go. Put back up inside, no. And back up with it comes Covenant Christian. And there's a runner that falls on the right side. That was kind of an odd shot. And now a turnover. Now outside it comes to Enfield. Tries to hold on that left wing. And now we'll dribble it back up front. Good extended man-to-man -man defense here from Covenant Classical. Trying to play a tough man-to-man -to -man defense. Hamaji goes right around his defender. Shot no, but free throws coming up here. As Dawson Hardy picks up his second foul. Team first to the free throw line for Covenant Christian goes Sam Rourke in the junior center. Good ball player Sam is. Had about four rebounds first half, one this half. Made his first free throw, didn't he? Free throw is good. And one more coming here is Hunter Sedergren back into the lineup for Covenant Classical. Yeah, free throw's good. Sam Rourke with a pair. 38-32 is the lead for Covenant Christian. Sedegren into the front court. Off to Hardy. Now Classical trying to set something up offensively here. Baseline it goes. Jumper there. Off the mark by Trevin Allen. And Enfield's pass. Full court pass. The layup oh, is missed, missed though. the layup. Good opportunity for Gurgley. Back the other way. That should be a block and is. Blocking foul on Mike Rivers. That will be his second. Team first. And to the free throw line goes Trevin Allen. So Allen's free throw coming up here. 644 to go in the third. 38-32 is the lead for Covenant Christian. First one off the mark for Trevin. We'll have another one coming. And the second free throw off the mark. Rebound put back up. Blocked out of bounds. And it will be classical basketball. And it comes out front. That pass deflected. Stolen away. Enfield with the steal down the lane. And he will head to the free throw line. So the foul is on Ian Prince. That will be his first. Team second on classical to the free throw line. Goes Enfield for a pair of shots here. Oh, Ian already had, already had a block in his picture there. You know, way up in the air and swung, and the guy hadn't gone up. So the free throw good. Second one up coming here. It's on the way, and that's good. And field with the pair. 40-32 is the lead for Covenant Christian. And a new group of guys in for Covenant Classical. Yeah, and Covenant Christian is getting a little full court pressure on here. I don't think Coach Andrew Ryan was particularly happy with the way the second half started off for Classical. That shot blocked out of bounds by Sam Rourke. You mean because of an hour, a minute and a half gone in the second half, he jerked the whole starting? Yeah, I don't think he's too <laughs> too pleased with the way that started. Trying oh, to prove no. a point, I think. There's another pass picked off. Enfield down the lane. He missed the layup. Well, one thing about it, Covenant Christian has not made him pay too much. No. They've missed a couple of wide-open layups back the other way. That runner, no. And here's another wide-open breakout. Rivers into the front court. He missed the layup. That's three layups now that Covenant Christian has missed in the last minutes. This could be a 15-point lead. That shot misses. Tracked down by Prince. Kicks it out. Three ball. That's short. And it will be Covenant Christian basketball. So now, uh, uh, Covenant Classical going to sub back in. They think we're the checking table again. Everybody that just uh, came out is coming back in after a little talking to here. We'll see what that does for Covenant Classical. 
In it comes. The far side with it is Michael Gurgling. All right. Man-to-man defense coming way out on him. And that pass ah. goes through the hands of Rourke, and it will be Covenant Classical Basketball. Yeah, Rourke's had a good game. Oh, there you got a fast break in it. And a All good right. job by Classical of getting out on the break. Covenant Christian is walking up the floor. Yeah. Classical really got, the, got on the horses that time. 40-34 is the lead now for Covenant Christian. This classic will come way out and put the pressure on. On the wing it goes for Gurgley. Works baseline. And picked up by Dawson Hardy. Now back to the way comes Classical. Pass ahead on the break for Dean. Now pass back across to Ingle down the lane. Just throws that up. No, gets his own rebound back. Has that blocked away. Loose underneath and it will be Classical basketball. 4.58 to go in the third. 40-34 is the lead for Covenant Christian. <laughs> is there any particular reason you're singing? Oh, I think thinking Bonanza. I, I don't know, know why you're thinking about Bonanza in the middle of a basketball tournament. A nice so rebound. Underneath good job. Layup, good by Trevin Allen off the original miss. 40-36 well, for nice. Covenant Christian. Nice rebound in there inside. Enfield down the lane has that block. Classical out on the run again. Down yeah, the lane, moving. that shot partially deflected. Rebound put back up and in by Dawson Hardy. 40-38 the lead for Covenant Christian. I'm Christian. I don't get in a running match with them, that's for sure. Oh, there we go. on the wing is good. The triple for Sami Hamadi. That'll be his third three of the game. Boy, he just fired that thing, Boy, too. he sure did. 43-38. Is the lead for Covenant Christian. Nice. Closing in on four minutes to go in the third and a five point lead for Covenant Christian. Three ball on the wing. That won't go. And now it's tip back out front. Up with it. Comes Enfield. Nice pass down the floor. And there the layup is. is good by Mike Rivers. 45 38. The lead for Covenant Christian. Three ball on the wing. That's way short. Out of the hands of Ian Prince. But Classical gets it back again. Prince going to try it again for three. That won't go. And try another one. Back up with it now. At the right side comes Rivers. Packs it out. Gives it back to Enfield. Left side, Hamadi got away with the travel. Spun down the lane. Just throws up a shot and scores. Yeah, usually that is called traveling. You jerk that back foot like that. You hard to ever get away with that. All right. After that, though, made a nice move. 47-38. Now the lead down the lane. Lay up there. No good by Jaylon Carr. And back up with it comes Enfield. Sam Rook's uh, eighth rebound today. Three in the corner. That won't go by Hamadi. And the rebound put back up and in underneath by Sam Rourke. And a 30-second timeout to Covenant Classical as it's now a 49-38 lead for Covenant Christian with 2.43 to go in the third. The girls' game over there is, well, that's stretched out now. It's 23-12, to 12, third quarter. It's not exactly what I would call a high-scoring affair at the court next to us. Uh, no, no, it's not a high-scoring affair. Well, our next game here today is a 5 o'clock Eastern time matchup between Elite One Academy out of Nevada and Gloucester Christian Academy from, or, or I should say Gloucester County Christian out of New Jersey. I saw one team over there on the board with keeping track of everything from Arizona. There's one from Arizona. There's one from Nevada. There's a team from from California. There's one from Canada. It's like counting all the it's, ones that are closer in. It's kind of a diversified lineup. Yeah, there's a little so, bit of everybody around here. Off on the wing it goes. The castle on the baseline is kicked out of bounds. 
It will stay right. classical basketball. Christian is staying in their zone defense, 2-3 th zone. All right. Uh-oh. Prince tried to come back near side. That was deflected. Now goes on the wing for Probst. Back outside for Prince. Now with it is Ingle. Pasco moving the ball around a little bit here. Three on the wing. That's off the mark from Probst. And back up with it comes Covenant Christian. Off on the wing for Enfield. Enfield to the free throw line, just dri literally dribbling around in a circle. He went about twice around in a circle. And off on the wing, it goes for Rivers. Holds there. Dumps it down. Hamadi pulled, uh, oh. tried to face a fadeaway jumper from the baseline. That hit the side of the backboard. Yeah, he did a 360, uh, 180 turnaround and didn't look before he shot. Hit the back, back of the backboard. He can go for three. That wouldn't go. And oh. now Covenant Christian to bring it up. Yeah. 135 to go in the third. 49-38 is the lead for Covenant Christian. Well, in the high post, it goes for Gurgley, and we have a whistle and a blocking foul out front. Foul is on Mike Rivers. That'll be his third. Team second. Hmm. Now, there we go again. Three in, three out. Good classical. And it comes now out to the wing for Rivers. Now dribbling it back out front is Enfield. Off in the wing again for Gurgley. Try to get a step down the lane. Wanted to dump it off down low, and it's stolen away. All right. Out of there with it comes Trevin Allen into the front court. Allen gives it off on the wing. Three ball is way short. And the rebound down low, put back up and in by Dawson Hardy. That's yeah, good work by Dawson. We'll scramble down and rebound and get the rebound off the floor. Out of all that, picks him up two points. 49 40 the lead for Covenant Christian. On the baseline it goes. Now back out to Enfield. Down to 30 seconds to go in the quarter. That's knocked out of bounds. Covenant Christian will get it back. All right. And it comes to Enfield. Classical, yep, Classical still in that man-to-man -man defense, trying to put pressure on. Pass out front, deflected, picked up there by Gurgley. Tried to work right side, all the power went off. Three ball in the corner won't go, and we got a whistle and time. As I think literally all the scoreboards just went out. Literally, all the scoreboards uh, all the way down through there went out. Oh, they did. They might have blown a fuse. Well, that's very possible. I think there's about three seconds left, and it was uh, he's trying Christian to, basketball. He's trying to check the plug, but it's not the plug. It's uh, all that wall's out. Well, I mean... It's literally every single one down through yeah, there. I'm sure that's on the same circuit. So they got it. they've blown a circuit somewhere. We have to go ahead and flip the switch again. Question is, why did it blow the circuit? Well, yeah, the, the problem doesn't exist with the computers or whatever. The problem is that there's no power in any of them. Right. All of them went off at the same time. Therefore, the problem was shared and probably has to do with the breaker box. Breaker number 14, maybe. But the problem is, if they don't know what caused it, you could turn it back on a little bit later, they might clip off again. Yeah, that's strange. I mean, I literally yeah. all the boards went off at the same time, but there's no lights or anything off in here. No, it's on that one circuit, it looks like. Look up there. Those lights are up above up there over there now. Like emergency lights or whatever. Mm -hmm. 
down there in that corner some emergency lights on too. It's like that one circuit's gone off and it triggered those lights to come on. And hey, Tay and Ape, that isn't the only one that's off. They're all off. I don't know if you re re realize that or not. Well, it appears the court all the way down on the end. I can't see that scoreboard, but I don't think I don't think they have one. They're just playing. <laughs> I think they're keeping the timing on the on the court itself. And well, I think that game down there is like a twenty-five point game or something anyway. So it's not like it's you know going down to the wire and you're relying on a scoreboard to be completely accurate. I think that's well, pretty well in hand. Well, if you're not going that to some of the game next to us isn't exactly. There have been an awful lot of those close games today. I've been watching the scores down through here, and there have been a lot of really close games, most of them. Well, here's the problem. If they decide just to keep going without a scoreboard, that's going to make our job exceedingly difficult on a number of levels. All right, so you got to so, call the last 14 seconds without a clock. All right. So we've got 14 seconds here remaining in the quarter. And it comes. And it back comes to Enfield. we got to be down to about eight seconds left. Enfield lost it. Now Hamani will fire it, and that is the end of the quarter. So end of the third, they're going to try to figure something out here. We have no yeah, scoreboard have no at all, words. so we'll take a break. I believe, is it 49-40 or 49-42? Those just came on down. There, there. it is, 49-40. They're back on now, so we'll head to the fourth quarter here in just a moment. So, Covenant Christian to start the fourth quarter. We do have scoreboards back. Jumper on the baseline is good by Mike Rivers. And it's a 51-40 lead for Covenant Christian. 7.40 to go in the game. Looks like Covenant Christian fell back to either a 3-2 or 2-3. It's hard to tell which one it is at the moment. A little run underneath by Jalen Carr wouldn't go. And here comes Covenant Christian again. Rivers gets it back up to end field. There's a little short shot. Good one. Yep. Good one. footer is good for Michael Gurgley. And it's 53-40 and out of bounds is Enfield. Good hustle, though. To yes, kick off the bass. He, he had it all right to, to take off. And he, and he stuck his foot back out to get a little takeoff, and that's when he stepped out of bounds. He had the interception of the pass just fine. Well, Christian is going to stay in that zone defense there. Yeah, a runner there is no good, but the foul is on Sam Rourke. That will be his first, team third. And two free throws coming up here for Dawson Hardy with 7.03 to go. 53-40 is the lead for Covenant Christian. Free throw rattles around it in.
And yeah, the second one is good. Yeah, back to 11 point game again. 53 42. Back he comes to Enfield. Skip pass ahead. Comes to Gurgley. Leaves it underneath. And the layup good by Peter Grafani. So I happen to get that full court press on to get the ball behind you. Then you're in trouble. 55 42. Back out front. Ingle tried to swing it around. Wanted to go in the corner. This is Carr's pass back near side. Now Jalon for three. That's there good. Go. Triple on that left wing for Jalon Carr. His first three of the game. Yeah, that was Prince driving the lane, passing out, reaching out there, getting an open shot. 55-45. And Kelly comes to Enfield. Looking there, trying to work back out front, left wing for Gurgley. Look baseline, that's picked off, stolen away by Hardy. Into the front court it comes, still loose. Everybody taking a tumble. Underneath it goes. And got fighting it. up a shot and in is Ian Prince. Well, oh, I don't know how he got that shot away from him there, but he got it over there in the defense. He got it in there. 55-47, down to 5.50 to go in this one. And there's a too big foul on that baseline on Trevin Allen. That would be his first team third in this half. 55-47 is the lead for Covenant Christian. 5.46 to go. And a full timeout. We'll be back here in just a moment. So in it comes, 5.45 to go. Out front for Gurgley now out of the timeout. Now it comes to Rourke. Trying to work there, pull up on the baseline. That wouldn't go, and the tip back underneath. And coming to Classical, back up with it. Allen down the lane, kicks it out. Carr drives along the baseline, oh. and... Tried to throw it again, and really, Jalen would have been just as well to shoot a layup. Oh, yeah. He's gotten he, all the way into the rim. He had made it past the defense. He was up to the rim. All he had to do was go ahead and put the shot up. They weren't even challenging it. Boston Hardy checks back in down to 5.15 to go. 55-47 is the lead for Covenant Christian here. On the wing it comes now. For Grafani, and he got he did. tripped up going to the hoop. He got a reach in foul on Covenant Classical's Ike Ingle. That'll be his first team fourth. Still 501 left, so we've got a lot of time left. And comes to Rivers, trying to go back in the corner. Underneath, good pass in the way up there oh, from Sam Lord. Rourke. Man. Nice, nice pass into him, and he just took a couple steps and laid it up in there. 57-47, three ball on the corner. We have a 30-second timeout to cover the classical. 4.45 left. They trail at 57-47. Good thing, because he missed the shot. That way they get the ball back again. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, we're back. So, up next, Elite One Academy and Gloucester County Christian. That's coming up next at 5 o'clock. 6.30 tonight, we'll go back to the girls' division. And Elk Valley Christian out of West Virginia going up against Shalom Christian from Pennsylvania. And then we'll close things out tonight with what should be, uh, based on last year, what should be a pretty good game to close out the nightcap tonight with Mount Airy Christian out of Maryland going up against Atlantic Christian out of New Jersey. That could be a pretty good matchup for the 8 o'clock game tonight. Yeah, a lot of times we get, it seems like in that last matchup of the night, we get some really good games. In the corner it goes, now working along the baseline. Shot no good there by Trevin Allen. And now Covenant Christian will take their time bringing it up. Yeah, Griffoni got that rebound that time. That's his first rebound. Gurgley into the front court down the lane, throws it up. No, Covenant out on the run here. This is classical. Ingle down the lane, lays it in. Wow. Mike Ingle got all the way to the hoop. You're talking about speed. That guy was passing people like they were sitting still. 57-49. We had somebody go down in a heap. I think it was Mike Rivers. He slipped and fell to the ground. Inbounds pass is picked off. Out front, Jalon Carr down the lane. Gives it off in the corner. Three ball. That rattles in and out for, for uh, Trevin Allen. And back to the way it comes. Yeah. On the run, down the lane, runner there, no good by Rivers. Nice rebound. And here comes Trevin Allen again. Trevin Allen. And Allen for three. That oh. rattles off, no good. Down to 345 to go. And the front court is gurgling, and we have a 30-second timeout to cover to Christian. So 341 left, 5749 is the lead for Covenant Christian. Well, they got got the game down to that eight eight point margin. Uh classical did, and they since then they haven't been able to chip into that last little bit of the lead there. Whenever they finally break through and get some points, then Covenant gets them as well. <laughs> Uh, well, we're down to the final 341, and the way these two teams have been burning through timeouts, they can't have too many left, I wouldn't think. So inbounds pass here. Right. Comes in for Enfield. Enfield working left side. Off to Gurgley, <laughs> trying to work baseline, and that's reflected on bounds, and it will be Covenant Classical Basketball. Well, like defense, that man-to-man -man defense pressure, full-court pressure, and then the man-to-man -man defense in is working. They're getting the turnover. Now they got to get some points with it. On the wing at Guilford Prince, trying to swing it around. Sertigren trying to go baseline to Carr, look down low, and that pass is picked off. Yeah, I thought he was going to get in the low post position there and get that ball in there, but defense was too tight for it. And field. Got caught in the front court, and we got a full timeout to Covenant Christian. 309 yeah. left, 5749. Take a break. Back with more in just a moment. Out of the timeout, 
River spins, leaves it off on the baseline, Got and it. jumper there rattles around it in for Sam Rourke. 59-49, down to 2.50 to go. Engel now back out front, three no good from Probst. Now Probst will track it down. Engel on the wing, three ball, that's oh. short from Ian Prince. And now Kevin and Christian looking to bring it up here. 220 left. Enfield. It's on the wing. Now we'll swing it back across for Gurgley. Three ball on the wing. That's no good by Rivers. A rebound put back up. No, but we do have a whistle and a foul underneath. It'll be on Trevin Allen. That's his second. Team fifth. And to the free throw line is Sam Rourke. I think he started the, the full court pressure defense so early that his team is getting a little gassed right now. Yeah, I want that as part of the reason why uh, Coach Ryan went to the half court trap more so than the full court press here lately to try yeah. to Try yeah. to save a little bit. Now back out front. This is Trevin Allen. Pulls up from the free throw line and hits. 61-51. The lead for Covenant Christian. Down to 150 left. Enfield. And it's deflected. Picked up in the backcourt by Rivers. Ahead. And the layup is good by Sam Rourke. Good job of seeing the court. He got Sam all the way down there underneath the basket. And when their pressure was out front, left him wide open. 63-51, down to 130 left in the lane. Jumping there, good by Trevin Allen. It's 63-53, down to 120 to go in this one. Outside, Gurley. Enfield swings it baseline for Rivers. Underneath, that shot blocked. Boy, that's a nice block down low by Trevin Allen. Yeah, and he third. also didn't lose the ball. He kept enough control of it to bounce out to his teammate. So J-Line Carr checks in. Pretty sure TJ Aaronsman just ran on the floor and never checked in with anybody, but <laughs> that's just well. me. <laughs> And we only have one <laughs> scorekeeper over here instead of two, and nobody's official beyond that. Three ball of the quarter. That wow. will go from J-Line Carr. And down to 56 seconds left. In the front quarter comes Enfield with it. Back out front to Hamadi. Down to 45 seconds left. Hamadi out front. Back off to Enfield. Right now, it's just uh, pretty much a matter of time at this point. Hamadi right. out front. Both teams just kind of playing it out here. Classical still trying to play tough, trying to force a turnover, and there is one. So I finally get one with 26 seconds to go in this one. Well, both teams play with a lot of heart. I'll give them credit yep. for that. All the way to the end. Yeah, they sure did. Even when they got behind, this coming uh, classical stayed right on, right in there. That's deflected out of bounds. Twenty seconds left. All right, here we go. Get that last twenty seconds in. This is long one. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Nope. Bangs off. No good by Trevin Allen. And uh, that's just gonna about do it. Ten seconds to go. Uh -huh. It comes for Rivers, and that's going to do it. 63-53 is the final as Covenant Christian oh, it. wins it. Covenant Christian wins this one, 63-53 over Covenant Classical. Your final scoring totals, first of all, for Covenant Classical, six points for J-Line Carr, including one three. He was one of two from the line. Eight for Ike Ingle, three for Ian Prince. He was one of two from the line. Two for TJ Aaronsman, one three-pointer for Evan Prince. 
13 points for Dawson Hardy, including one three. He was two of four from the line. 19 points for Trevin Allen, including one three. He was two of four from the free throw line. Covenant Classical, four of 24 from three-point range. For Covenant Christian, four points for Michael Gurgley, two for Peter Grafani, 14 points for Mike Rivers. 11 for Sami Hamani, including three three-point field goals. 18 points for Sam Rourke. He was 4 of 4 from the free throw line. Covenant Christian, 3 of 10 from three-point range. I'll pass off to you for our final rebounding totals. All right. First of all, for uh, Covenant Christian, we had uh, infield with four rebounds. Uh, Sami Hamadi had four. Sam Rourke, 12. Michael Tomero had one. Michael... Gurgley had two, Peter Grifoni had one, and Mike Rivers had one for Tola. 25 rebounds for Covenant Christian. For Covenant Classic, uh, Jason Jalen Carr had two, Hunter uh, Sedergan had uh, one, Trevor Allen seven, Ike Ingle had two, uh, Ian Prince had three, TJ Rinsman uh, had three, Evan Prince had two, and Dawson Hardy had five for total 25. So actually, when you get to the end of that, their, their uh, rebounds were exactly the same, 25 apiece. All right, and a 63-53 win for Covenant Christian. Up next, another basketball game in the boys' division between Elite One Academy and Gloucester County Christian. That's coming up here, well, I guess, in seven minutes. <laughs> so we'll take a break and be back here in just a few minutes. 